All right, so in the description to the video, you will find helpful links to any uh, parts that I use, crush washer sizes, torque specifications. So please check the video description and enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna do our transfer case assembly. Uh, this is the Hypoid Gear Oil, HGO-1, but you're gonna wanna pick this up also at the Honda parts store. Again, I'll put the prices I paid in the description. I'm sure the prices will change, but it'll give you an idea. They really have not changed much in the last couple of years. So um, anyway, this takes, uh, I think it's 0 0.45 quarts. But again, we're filling it up till it drains. So what I did was I put a little more than that. Uh, I had used this on the pilot a couple years back. And um, so it had a little over a half quart in it. I just put it all in here. And what I'm gonna do, there's two main ways to do this. Some people like using these little quart bottle things. I'll put, put a link in the description. This is where you can just screw this into your quart bottle and, and pump this but man it takes forever so what i'm starting to do is pour it into a pitcher like this and then use this i'll put links to all this in the description got this mighty vac uh, fluid extractor i'll put a link in the description and uh basically i have it apart because i always clean it out but basically you just puts together this easy and takes apart that easy and then I'll just uh, plunge it out, you know, take it out of the pitcher, put this in the fill hole, plunge it in, and then I have to do that, you know, a few times until, until we're done. Much quicker for me than using the other. So we're gonna get under there now. We're gonna get our um, fill bolt off. Then we'll get our drain bolt off. We'll go from there. Uh, our 3 8 inch. You can use a breaker bar. This is an extendable ratchet. I got at Harbor Freight um, that I like. So we're gonna use that to empty our fluid. So this is a transfer case fluid. Okay, a couple things. It's too close, there's some interference. So I'm gonna need a very small extension to clear. I'm also gonna grab some better gloves because that looks like a potential knuckle breaker to me. All right, so make sure you, make sure you got some gloves that have some real padding, like on the back of your knuckles because you're gonna be putting some pressure on that got the smallest 3 8 inch extension I have just to hopefully this will work if not we'll figure something out That was not easy, but we got it. So that's why you wanna make sure you can get your fill bolt off before you drain your fluid because this is factory torqued. I hope they did it right, but man, 
It sure seemed like a lot. All right, so. Okay, so we have our fill bolt off and it is dripping a little, just slightly, but now we're gonna take the drain bolt off. Okay, we got it. I'm try my idea again with that ratchet. Got to get my fingers out of the way with this uh, battery power going, just to kind of keep my, my fingers out of the way when it when it breaks free. That worked nicely on the other one. I'm going to need that extension again. Okay, now on this one, I don't have my crush washer. You always want to look, so that means that my crush washer is still on there. Whereas on this fill bolt, see there's my crush washer right there. I need to replace both of those. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off. But you always want to check because if you leave one on there and you add another, you're gonna have a leak. Okay, so for these bolts, I need a 20, mil 20 millimeter crush washer for both bolts on the transfer case assembly. If you don't want to buy those somewhere else, if you don't want to order them off of Amazon or something, you can pick those up at your Honda parts store when, when you go pick up your fluids. So 20 millimeters times two for the transfer case job. When we get to the rear differential, that's going to need a 20 millimeter and an 18 millimeter. So if you're doing these jobs at the same time, like you probably should be, you're going to want to pick up three 20 millimeter crush washers and one 18 millimeter crush washer. Yeah, there's no crush washer stuck on there. So, maybe it's in the pan. Let's pull this out and look. Yep, there it is. It fell off right there. So as long as it's accounted for. So, good to know. Okay, so the torque specs for both these are 33 foot-pounds. So the first thing we're going to do is put the put the, the bottom one on. The drain bolt, we're going to put it back on. Start it by hand. We have our new crush washers on already. Our surfaces are all clean. We just do it by hand all the way till we make contact. Wipe everything up real nice, nice and dry. That way you can tell if you have any leaks, which I don't see how you could have. 33 foot pounds, I've already got my torque wrench set. Okay, it's already there. So now we're ready to add Remember, we're going to use that mighty bag. So what we're going to do is put a plunger in our pitcher. Got to plunge up as much as we can to to limit the amount of times we got to do this. Okay. We'll go back under here with our rag. We got our our plastic sheeting to protect our concrete. have a lot of shoulder room. So I'm going to lift this out of the pitcher. I'm going to put my tube 
in the fill. Get it all the way in there and then just plunge it in. As long as you have your tube angled down, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so now can I do this under the car? That's the question. I may need to come out. I'm going to come out in between. If I had it jacked up more, I may not need to, but I don't have a lot of clearance under there. So I'm just going to come out in between. And again, alternate method would be to use that, uh, would be to use that plunger. I'm just going to use my rag instead of dragging my pitcher under the car every time I take a chance of spilling it. So I'm just going to use a rag. Come back under here. Line it up. Get the tube kind of angled down like that. Plunge it in. It's already running out. So that's it. We're done. I hope this has been helpful to you. I'll put a whole bunch of links in the description for parts and torque specs and crush washer sizes, types of fluids, all those kind of things. So please look in the description and uh, you'll find everything that you need there. Feel free to ask a question in the comments and thank you for watching.